Before we start with the video, I would like to say this video is not intended to cause any drama, nor is it intended to cause any more toxicity in the community. So to get into the video, I have a couple points to talk about, which really lately have been questioning a lot what's been going on in BWD. And I will just start with the first one, because I mean, not many people notice this, but in my opinion and many other people's opinion, CC Shed is an unsafe place for many reasons. I think many people of you noticed the stormy thing that happened with all the drama that revolved around it. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff that happened. Stormy even stated that he got eyes in the CC shed, which is pretty likely because many things were leaked in the CC shed before and I wouldn't be surprised if there's more people leaking stuff and whatever and whatever, you get my point. Toxicity and very strong personal feelings are happening a lot in CC shed too, which has been happening for... How long now? I think the past six months now and there has been no actual moderation against it. So I am actually unsure if there will ever be moderation in the CC shed. But that is not my point to talk about. It is just like... I got comments or many other people's CCs got comments. They were like, Twitch is hogging everything or Twitch is hogging all the viewers. Or like, 6k on Twitch not being a big deal even though that is considered affiliate cc and in my opinion that is a huge amount you've already done but i guess from other people's point of view it is not then there were comments like all oh, the newbies are getting skins in the next drops and <laughs> personally one of my favorites that was directed to me don't you need five codes a week i mean i think Everybody understands that those statements are pretty ridiculous and they are just because they have very strong personal feelings against some people. I don't know why, but it is the case. There are some problems with CC chat and I think that is actually public knowledge now because a lot of CCs has been have been talking about it. And it is actually insane on how much stuff happened in the past month, which I can just not understand. And it actually makes me want to reduce my time I stream Shell Shockers, which I'm probably even gonna do because there's just no point. Another problem that I had lately was the CC mascot problem. I don't wanna say anything bad against the current CC mascot because I like the guy. I like the guy. The guy is amazing and I'm on good terms with him. But in my opinion, he's just not a CC mascot because he hasn't done anything that literally spoke to me. Hey, he's a CC mascot, literally. He's a mascot. No, like he didn't spread any Shell Shockers content or to new creators. He didn't get any new creators in the Shell Shockers scene, which reminds me like six days ago, there was actually a new huge Dutch streamer, I think it's called his name was Hen Ryan and or something, streaming shell for his first time, even had Twitch partner, had constantly 60 plus views. But I did not get involved with him because it is not my job to do that. And I feel like the people who should have done that are just not doing their jobs. I believe, in my opinion, CC mascot or the CC moderator should have done in that case something at least something they should have done something at least I mean obviously you can't be online all the time it's understandable but normally even Novo would have done it but we even lost Novo now which I am very sad about so there needs to be at least one person who does it and if there's not then who's supposed to do it you know the CC mascot has done very great animations, don't get me wrong. Very great animations. But in my opinion, he's uploading those animations on his YouTube account, which is totally fine. They look great, and he even made a little animations about me, which I'm very thankful of. Problem is, it is just not a CC mascot thing, in my, in my opinion. It kind of represents the CCs, in a way. 
but in my opinion it leads more to the content creation side which would lead to him getting the content creation role or a content creator role i mean but yeah that's my first problem and i am really not happy about that thing because if we compare that to adam it's it, adam did so much stuff and i love the guy literally adam has done so much stuff doing events doing connecting other streamers even though there was some drama with his last event that happened during twitch jobs <laughs> there was because a significant person showed up but that's fine it happens literally love the guy and everything but since adam isn't the cc mascot anymore no one is literally doing cc purchase and in my opinion even the whole stormy drama could have been 100 percent avoided if there was a cc purge before it and if people actually got the ccs taken away like if i just look in cc chat and i see content creators that haven't done content in eight months that it just makes me frustrated and i just don't understand how there's this cc and to be honest if you don't do content for eight months then in my opinion you almost have no attachment to the role anymore because you're not doing any content you're just like yeah you're just existing basically and where is the guarantee that not one of those content creators is gonna do the same thing as stormy where's the guarantee that they're not gonna do the same thing well literally any of those persons who are inactive could literally start the same thing as stormy because they in my opinion have a higher possibility of having no attachment to the role or the community anymore but as much as i love adam i need to address one bad thing that happened lately since adam got cc the way he did adam got cc by getting hazards old youtube account which had obviously instant over a thousand follow uh, subscribers since yeah it was hazards account adam uploaded a couple vods from streamers mostly bracket and i think one from hayden and then he got cc obviously he didn't gain a lot of followers from those because they were unedited and everything but it is just a problem if somebody can give over their account to somebody else and instantly get cc you know what this could lead to this could literally lead to let's just say grace ocean magically comes back and says hey but i am still done with doing creating content so i will give over my account to somebody who is not even a cc yet and my question is now what would happen would that person get partner cc after streaming like one or two weeks would that person get partner skins before me just because he got the account from another person and then even then then you could literally trade over your accounts over and over again and you would literally let's just say grace ocean gives over his account then you would have two times partner skins for one account how is that fair that i don't want to say bwd would do this but that's just my question and i'm gonna be honest this is how it seems to be when adam got cc in my opinion we all worked our asses off basically to get that role and adam just gets it because a friend gives his account and i'm just like oh wow that's cool but adam still don't take this seriously still love you I appreciate you this was just something i needed to address because in my opinion this is more like a fault on the bwd side and not you but yeah it is something i believe there's two problems with the cc mod i don't know if, you, if the cc mod is gonna watch this or not not had much contact with him to be honest but there have been many cases <laughs> where people got cc with follow bots 
Yes, I know, water is busy. But it surprises me when somebody gets CC with followbots. I will actually name a name now because I did name a couple of names before too. Full Grimmed or Full Grimed, however you na say his name. I don't know. I don't know. He came back after a long time and he wasn't a CC anymore because he got unmodded by his, uh, uncc'd basically from a mod perch. Uh, <laughs> from a CC perch. So. And since the new requirements were 2k followers from the Twitch side, you needed 600 more followers. What did he do to gain it as fast as possible? He got 600 follow bots. Surprisingly, he got the role. And people found out after he got the role that he follow botted himself. Yep. That was brought to BWD, the devs, and yeah, guess what, his role didn't get it removed. And another thing is, he still has CC to this day, which is not understandable in any point of view in my opinion. And his follow bots even got removed from his Twitch and now he has 1.4k followers again. So first of all. He basically tricked BWD in giving him the role and BWD did nothing against it. He still has the role even though he did not do any content in ages. And he does not even meet the requirements because he has 1.4k followers on Twitch right now. Like I don't want to complain too much. Because I know this video is gonna get a lot of controversy, but I feel like there has to be somebody at least who talks about this. Because we brought these points up before. E except I don't think anybody brought up the Adam getting CC uh, thing before, but most of these points were brought up before. But it seems that BWD just. I don't know, I don't know, maybe they're just too busy and just forget or i i just don't know i just don't know there's just i guess my point is the lack of communication that there is situations where the communication between the ccs and vwd that almost not exist happened so often for example last twitch drops i did not even know that i'm getting a skin i know vwd wanted to keep it a surprise but that led to many people getting hurt and i know that some people I will give an example now because I just know he deserved the skin and I know he probably got hurt a lot. For example, Hayden. Hayden has more followers than Novo and Bracket. And he did not get a skin. Why? I do not know. I just know because there was zero communications before Twitch drops on who is getting a skin that he probably really got hurt. And I remember Novo saying multiple times that if him or Hayden get a skin, that he wants it to be Hayden. This has not been considered. I mean, I believe Novo deserved the skin. I believed Hayden deserved the skin. I believed all the people that got a skin in the last drops deserved one. I just find it really random though why BWD decided to give people skins that had lower followers basically i mean hayden was even active he streamed a lot and everything and I, literally hayden got missed two times now yeah two times now in the first drops and now in the fourth ones and i i'm gonna be honest if i would have been missed or if i didn't get a skin in the last drops then i don't know what i would have done but i would have reacted very interesting too but I don't know. Another thing is that I've noticed BWD is just not dealing with toxicity in the BWD Discord. I mean, they are kind of, but some points I just don't know, or I just don't know how I can understand them. For example, the whole LF stuff that happened. There's a lot I can say about LF, and I'm pretty sure if I say many bad things, they're gonna come after me. They are just the most toxic community or one of the most toxic communities in the shell community 
I understand if BWD is not gonna ban them or mute them in a, uh, in a Discord. Since they don't say anything directly at Peepin in the Discord. I know they have a hate list on who they hate the most in the community. Which is, I believe, publicly in this Discord of their Discord. But I don't want to go on about that too much. But I just don't understand. Why does their content get promoted in the streams and videos channel in the, in the BWD Discord if they are a part of a toxic community? I don't get that. I really don't. I really don't understand that. Because it is just... You basically spread or giving views to somebody who is spreading toxicity. But this actually brings me to my last point, and I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I don't give a damn. Because my last problem are the CC, the partner CC requirements. Because they're too high. I've gotten many comments uh, where I was basically kind of made fun of for saying that they should be reduced. But here's the thing. It has been, I think, a year and maybe like two or three months ago where the requirements got increased. Has any Twitch CC ever reached the 12k mark? No, never, never. In that time, over a year, no, one, no CC has ever reached the 12k partner CC requirement mark. And even the old mark right now of 10k followers there's only one person that hit that in over a year even with twitch drops by the way and that is me and i have currently 10.4k followers so i'm still 1.6k away and i'ma be honest i am more and more giving up on getting partner cc and the more drama that just happens and the more problems that are being caused the more I just go away from the game, because I just, I just can't anymore, you know? I will probably reduce my streaming time. I will see if BWD reacts to this video. I am pretty sure they will watch it, because I feel like they have watched all the YouTube videos that were regarding around problems before too. For example, the Wordsmith video or whatever. This video was kind of like my last resort to get BWD to kind of listen to me or to listen to the community itself because this is not this is these are points that not only came from me by the way I had problems figuring out what to say so I got help and asked people what their problems are and all of these things were problems that I didn't enjoy and that are pretty understandable that nobody enjoys. I will just see what happens now and how I go forward. I will still be streaming Shell Shockers. Don't give me any comments anymore. Man, are you quitting Shell Shockers? No, I will not quit Shell Shockers. I will just res reduce the stream time. I stream Shell Shockers by a lot because there's no point. And I'm gonna be honest, I have been not enjoying streaming shadow shockers lately for the whole reason that there's no ccs left that stream the game the only ccs that stream right now are me and owl and it is just not fun it just feels bad when you're like literally only one C cc streaming yes love owl enjoy him a lot literally i have so much watch time in the stream the thing is like i want to have people to talk about the streaming experience but I talked way too much in this video, so I will just leave it now and I will see how this video is received and if I get any hate comments. <laughs> but we will see. Anyways, bye bye. Thank you for watching.